فاسألوا أهل الذكر إن كنتم لا تعلمون إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Brothers and sisters in Islam When the angel Jibreel alayhi salam wanted to assure Hajar that she's going to be okay her and her son Ismail alayhi salam after Nabiullah Ibrahim dropped them in Mecca he said to her don't worry inna lillahi baytan ha huna Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a house right here yabnihi hadha alwalad wa abuh the foundation of this house will be raised by this infant and his father. As if Jibreel alayhi salam is telling her, this is the house of Allah. Whenever you reside, live next to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of you. Brothers and sisters in Islam, when Ibrahim alayhi salam returned back to Palestine, very interesting, Al-Israeliyat, and we mean by the Israelites here, Athar, Ahlul Kitab, والتي لا نصدقها ولا نكذبها The news from the books of the people of the book completely abandoned the story totally completely no word imagine a father takes his wife his son places them in the desert and that's it again the final revelation the Quran 
and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to say no to that. In fact, we have authentic accounts of four visits. Ibrahim alayhi salam made from Jerusalem, Al-Quds or Palestine to Mecca. One of them في القرآن قصة الذبيح the story of the sacrifice الذبح and three in حديث ابن عباس which is in البخاري ومسلم it's very interesting again it's just the promotion as if Ismail and his mother was a mistake in the life of Ibrahim and that mistake has to be removed. Promoting that idea of special people and people who are lower in class. Subhanallah. When they came to the story of the Bih, the story of the sacrifice, they ended up saying that the boy who was to be sacrificed was Ishaq, not Ismail. For us as Muslims, it doesn't matter. And dare you make this an issue. لا نفرق بين أحد من رسلي. We never, we love Ishaq as much as we love Ismail. And the rest of the messengers and prophets. But you see, they were driven to say it's Ishaq because Ismail is already what? We don't want to mention him again. We don't want to mention him again. But they did something very interesting. If you read their literature, which I do not encourage you. The command was, take your only son. Actually, it's still like, exactly like this. Take your only son to sacrifice. Slaughter your only son. For you to learn and to know that the only child who can have that scripture, uh, that description, I'm sorry, is Ismail. Because in no way Ishaq is the only son. Ishaq is the second son. Alayhi salam. For they left that only there just as a trace. But again for us, subhanallah, it doesn't make any difference. But this is the first journey that we know Ibrahim alayhi salam went back to Palestine. And the context of the journey in Surah Al-Safat, Ibrahim alayhi salam says, Rabbi habli min as-salihin. O Allah, bestow upon me righteous offspring. Fabashshirnahu bi ghulamin halim. We given him the glad tiding of a, a son who is forbearant. When Ibrahim alayhi salam and Sarah were given the glad tiding of Ishaq, the description was different. إِنَّا نُبَشِّرُكَ بِغُلَامٍ عَلِيمٍ في سورة الحجر The angels who came to destroy the two towns of the homosexuals, Sodom and Gomorrah, in their way, they stopped by Ibrahim alayhi salam and they given him the glad tiding of Ishaq. When they given him the glad tiding of Ishaq, they said, Inna nubashiruka bi ghulamin alim. We're giving you the glad tiding of a son who is knowledgeable, has knowledge. So Ibrahim alayhi salam arrives 
مكة and سبحان الله him and Ismail are walking next to one another look at this scene فلما بلغ معه السعي you know you really become so attached to your children when they start walking and speaking as fathers normally the first two years is the mother shears you know even parents fathers they do not even pay attention to the child because it's changing diapers and all that stuff is you just but when they start speaking and communicating with you that's when شوف look at it فلما بلغ معه السعي when Ismail عليه السلام reached the age of walking قيل it was mentioned that he was around 13 years old شوف look at, at, at the caliber of Ismail and look at the caliber of Ibrahim he is sharing with his child the situation it's a very tough situation on me قال يا بني he said my son إني أرى في المنام أني أذبحك I saw a vision a dream commanding me to slaughter you we know that dreams for messengers prophets are form of revelations imagine sharing that with your son who is 13 years old what do you think about that look what he said i'm commanded it's a command from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i have no choice command شوف look at the sun قال يا أبا تفعل ما تؤمر my father do what you commanded to do guess who said it earlier to him who said it earlier the mother ما هو like mother like son like father like son يقول لك هذا الشبل من هذا الأسد his mother 13 years ago he tells her listen I'm commanded to leave you here she tells him go the son likewise قال يا أبا تفعل ما تؤمر do what you're commanded to do by Allah سبحانه وتعالى شاف الفقه Look at the understanding of the young boy, Ismail alayhi salam. Satajiduni, you will find me, wastathna. Insha'Allah, I'll do my best. Satajiduni, insha'Allah, min as sabirin. I'll be patient, insha'Allah. A word fil athar that. When Ibrahim alayhi salam falamma look falamma aslama when both of them submitted to Allah watallahu lil jabeen he placed him in his forehead at first he placed him on his back Ismail tells his father my father if you look at my face while you're slaughtering me you may turn away from executing the command. Place me on my forehead so you don't have to look at my face. Submission, ya ikhwa. Submission. هذا هو الإسلام. هذا هو معنى التسليم. Compliance. Total submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Regardless what the consequences are in your own calculation. You see, sometimes our nafs, our shaitan, scares us from submitting, from doing the right things. Ya akhi, trust al-hakim, al-alim, al-khabir. Trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the all-wise, the all-knower. He has a wisdom. فَلَمَّا أَسْلَمَا وَتَلَّهُ لِلْجَبِينَ شوف 
it was a test وناديناه ايا ابراهيم we called upon him that's it كان هذا على قبيل الابتلاء this is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to you brothers and sisters in Islam look at the reward يقول لك من رحم البلاء يأتي التمكين from the womb of the tests the empowerment comes ومن المن المحنة تأتي المنحة out of all hardships that you go through if you're patient a grant will be given to you when you go through hardships and you're patient obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will compensate you شوف وَبَشَّرْنَاهُ بِإِسْحَاقِ not only to keep your only son وَبَشَّرْنَاهُ بِإِسْحَاقِ just to show you that look at the context of the verses to, sh- to, to tell you that it was never been Ishaq. After Ibrahim alayhi salam did this, then Allah says, وَبَشَّرْنَاهُ بِإِسْحَاق And as a reward for him being willing to give up his only son, will give him another son. From his other wife. وَبَشَّرْنَاهُ بِإِسْحَاق وَمِنْ وَرَاءِ إِسْحَاقَ يعقوب. And from Ishaq will come Ya'qub. This is the first trip. The second trip in the Sunnah, Ibrahim alayhi salam arrived most probably after Hajar has passed away. Ibrahim married from the tribe of Jurhum, an Arab tribe who lived around the Kaaba. Afwan Ismail married from the tribe of Jurhum. Uh, of Jurhum. Ismail used to work as a hunter, hunts. So he would go into the desert, disappear for a week or so, bring his hunt back to feed the family. So Ibrahim السلام, went to visit him. The wife did not know who is Ibrahim. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah wa alaykum assalam. Where is your husband? She said, خَرَجَ يَقْتَادُ لَنَا يَقْتَاتُ لَنَا He went out to bring provision for us. Then he asked her this question, كَيْفَ عَيْشُكُمَا How's it going? How's your life, Lihud? How's life? Look what she said. بِشَرْ Awful. It's terrible. No good. No food. No water. You can imagine what she said. This is an issue. You know, in simple words, I can convey that message to you. You have a cup, has some water in it, and empty. It's not fair to just look at the empty side of the empty portion of the cup. At least mention you're healthy, you're alive. Right away, Ibrahim alayhi salam, just to show you also that he cares about his son. Right away, he said to her, when your husband returns, أَبْلِغِيهِ مِنِّ salam, Convey my salam to him, my greeting to him, and to tell him that I am telling him to change his doorstep. غَيِّرْ عَتَبَةَ ذَارِكْ Show also that the wife is the the front of the change that when Ismail alayhi salam returned a husband should censor already somebody I can tell there was somebody in my house somebody was here you should ask when you go back home Huh? And if, when, you, when you see things in your house that you did not provide, don't just say, Oh, that, huh? Ya Maryam, anna laki hadha. You're the provider. Anta al kafil. Make sure that your family are not fed from unlawful. Make sure that this food is coming from a rightful source. Someone was here. Yeah, yeah, an old sheikh. 
and he by the way conveyed his salam to you and he's commanding you to change your doorstep he said this is my father and he's commanding me to divorce you go home يعني سيدنا ابراهيم عليه السلام is not a wife of this caliber by the way normally will you're not going to have a good time you know being ungrateful is is one of the issues once it come once it comes to women in uh, in, in in general yeah we're talking about women in general not believing muslim women يعني في حديث ابن عباس in the day of Eid al-Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam addressed the women he given them actually a certain uh, a special sermon like after he delivered the khutbah to al-Eid he went and he addressed the women and one of the things that he said ya ma'ashir an-nisa'i tasaddaqna oh women Give a lot of sadaqa fa inni ra'aytu kunna akthara ahli nar I saw you the majority of the dwellers of hell. One woman, one of the women, ran after the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Usa'alat, smart, faqiha. Hadith ibn Abbas fil Bukhari. I'm not making that stuff up. Why? What's wrong? Why? Qala, he said, takfurna al-ashir. You are ungrateful to the husbands. وَتَكْفُرْنَ الْإِحْسَانِ لَوْ أَحْسَنَ إِلَيْكُنَّ الرَّجُلُ الدَّهْرَ كُلَّ ثُمَّ رَأَيْتُنَّ شَيْئًا تَكْرَهْنَ لَقُلْتُنَّ مَا رَأَيْنَ مِنْكَ خَيْرًا قَطْ شوف قط هذه اللي تتموت If being ungrateful to your husbands now I, I, I tell the sisters, my, my, my believing sisters, listen, your husband can be your way to Jannah and also can be your way to the other end. Right here. Look at the other end. Hadith Abdul Rahman ibn Awf, Fis Sunan, Abi Dawood. If the woman prays her five daily prayers, وصامت شهرها, and she fasts the month of Ramadan, وحصنت فرجها and she keeps herself chaste وحصنت فرجها وأطاعت زوجها and she obeyed her husband in, in what is reasonable look sisters in the day of resurrection you stand in front of the eight gates of Jannah eight gates of Jannah she gets to choose which gate she wants to go to, go to Jannah from you choose which gate الموضوع هكذا موضوع جنة ونار أصلا مش موضوع women وأنتي women ولا الكلام ده خالص موضوع جنة ونار if your agenda is جنة this is the way if your agenda بقى promotion some western terminology women and women and women are bad وإسلام الأنتي that's another business that's another agenda but we're talking about جنة here look at the next step the next trip the third one quickly he arrived. Ibrahim alayhi salam. قيل أنه كان يركب البراق. It was said that he used to, draw, uh, to, to ride uh, a buraq, a mule between the donkey and the camel that uh, drive quickly. So he arrives. He found Ismail alayhi salam also hunting. Assalamu alaykum. The new wife now. Wa alaykum assalam. Where is your husband? The same thing, he's out hunting for us, bringing us provision. قال وكيف عيشكما? The same question. How's it going? قالت بخير. الحمد لله. Everything is wonderful. This is the attitude. Listen. أتشتكي الخالق للمخلوق? Are you complaining? about the creator to the created لا. 
الحمد بروموت الحمد لله الحمد لله والله everything is wonderful الحمد لله good health الحمد لله the, 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 the family is wonderful and if you want to add but at the end add a but but والله عندي بس المشكلة بتاعت البنت والود ويعني I'm hoping that إن شاء الله يعني الله will take care of it this is the attitude of, of أهل الإيمان بس how are you brother oh terrible awful things are awful شوف سيدنا ابراهيم عليه السلام تو بي فير هي وانت تو فاردر انسبكت ميبي شي هيرد اباوت وات هابند بيفور قال وما طعامكما سو هي اسك انذر كويشن وات كايند اوف فود يو ايت اف ثينجز ار جوينج ويل قالت شي سيد اللحم والماء ووتر اند ميت هي سيد اللهم بارك لهما في اللحم والماء. Oh Allah, bless their water and bless their meat. وذاك يا اخوه ان مكه وير ايفر يو جو يو سي ذوز تو. وير ايفر حتى في روكا ذا تراش كان يو سي ميت. از اميزنج ذا اماور اوف ميت ذات يو سي ان سبايد اوف ذا نمبر اوف بيبل ذات يو هاف ان مكه. الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم اكشلي سيد اف شي ود هاف منشند اذر ثينجز ابراهيم ود هاف ميد دعاء اند يو ود فايند ات ان مكه. When your husband returns, convey my salam to him. وأخبري and inform them and you thabit عتبت داري. This is the type of wife. And the same thing with the husband. Sisters, if you also have ungrateful husband, do likewise. To be fair, this is the type of husband that you should have. This is the type of spouse that you should have. To make it general. When he returns. He also sensed that there was somebody here, and he asked. She said, "Yes, an old man." He conveyed salam to you, and he said to keep your doorstep. Yani, he said, "This is my father, and he is commanding me to keep you." Now I know the issue triggers a big uh, question in the minds of a lot of the sisters and a lot of the brothers. That means that if your father tells you to divorce your wife, then you're supposed to divorce your wife? Based on that story, and actually there is another story for Bukhari, another incident in Bukhari, that Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu an commanded Abdullah to divorce his wife. Abdullah ibn Umar had a wife whom he loved. He used to be in love with her. And Umar said to divorce her. عبد الله بن عمر went to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم قال يا رسول الله أو مسنجر في الله أبي يأمرني أن أطلق زوجتي My father is commanding me to divorce my wife قال يا عبد الله أطع أباك أو عبد الله أبي your father ف if you add those two with this one obvious they presented this matter to الإمام أحمد رحمه الله يا إمام ورز يسقل If your father is the caliber or close to the caliber of Ibrahim and Umar, absolutely. But your father doesn't pray. He doesn't even know anything about Islam. And he tells you to divorce your wife. No, don't obey him. Umar, Rajul Muhaddath, Binassil Hadith. Umar, Ibrahim alayhi salam, is known. But Umar is someone who has knowledge, who has deen. For sure, he saw something in that woman that would not be fitting his 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 son. That is why you should obey your father if he is like Umar ibn Khattab radiyallahu an. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the last trip mentioned. By the way, this does not mean that they are only four. They can be more than that. But the last trip was referred to in the Quran and in the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ibrahim alayhi salam arrived, and he saw Ismail sitting by the house, and he preparing his archers. You know, he's doing like this to prepare because he's going to be going hunting soon. He saw him. He saw his father arriving. 
He stood up and he gave him a hug. You know, father, son, missing one another thing. And he said to him, Ya Bunay, my son, Inna lillahi baytan ha huna. Allah has a, a house right here. Brothers and sisters in Islam, you've probably been hearing me, the Kaaba doesn't exist so far. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna awwala baytin wudi'a linnasi lalladhi bibakkata mubaraka. The Kaaba, or the house of Allah, was raised by the angels. هذا جمهور المفسرين. The angels actually raised the walls of the Kaaba. When Adam عليه السلام descended to earth, him and his wife came and did tawaf around it. And it was reunited. His children raised the foundations again. And during the flood which happened at the time of Noah, it was destroyed. You see, Noah came before Ibrahim, alayhi salam. That is why when you read Ibrahim, alayhi salam, in his way out after, his play, after he placed Hajar and Ismail, he said, Rabbana inni askantu min durriyati biwadin ghayri dhi zar'in inda baytika al-muharram. Near your house. So the house existed from the beginning of time. But raising the, uh, that is why when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about it in the Quran, He said, وَإِذْ يَرْفَعُ إِبْرَاهِيمُ الْقَوَاعِدِ مِنَ الْبَيْتِ وَإِسْمَعِيلِ Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail are raising the foundations of the house, not building it, not, the foundations were there. And Allah says what? وَإِذْ بَوَّأْنَا لِإِبْرَاهِيمَ مَكَانَ الْبَيْتِ بَوَّأْنَا يعني أَرَيْنَاهِ We showed him the location of the house. أَلَّا تَشْرِكْ بِي شَيْئَ وَطَهِّرْ بَيْتِي Now clean it from the flood and raise the foundation. So the, the, the Kaaba exists. Ibrahim said to Ismail, يَا بُنَيْ My son, Allah commanded me to raise to a house for him here in that place. Are you going to help me? Yes, my father, I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll always, you know, one of, one of the, the, the most wonderful things that you have, a family that can help you in the path of obedience. Yeah, if, the, if there is a blessing, a family that can help you to make it to Jannah. وذلك جاء التحذير أيها الذين أمنوا إن من أزواجكم وأولادكم عدوا لكم فاحذروهم. Some of your spouses and your kids are enemies because what they will distract you away from the path. A blessing. Look at Ibrahim. The blessing. A wife tells him, Allah commanded you go. A son says, go, go ahead and execute. Yeah, yeah. Let's build the house. So Ibrahim عليه السلام. Raise the foundation of the Kaaba. وشوف سبحان الله in close to closing here. Here, look at this verse. فيه آيات بينات. In the house, in the Kaaba are clear signs. هذا إيه تعميم عام general. يأتي التخصيص إيه؟ Look at the special sign that you should reflect upon. مقام إبراهيم. The station of Ibrahim, which is the golden thing that you see next to the Kaaba. What is so special about that golden thing? A lot of the Muslims, they go out there and touch it and kiss it. لا, you're missing the point. What's in there is a rock. On it, the feet of Ibrahim are printed. What, what is so special about this? What, what, what? Look, Allah commanded Ibrahim السلام, to raise the foundation of the Kaaba. This command to be completed, I'm standing in the ground and I raise the wall as far as my fingertip reaches. خلاص. Done. I fulfilled. لا. 
ابراهيم احسان مقام الاحسان that you excel no i want to do the best job i can do he invented that idea he introduced that idea to humanity that you can bring a rock you stand on it you raise yourself up so that you can raise the walls more see بسموها السؤاله في في المعمار something that you place you stand on and then ismail goes brings the rock now while he's standing on that rock because of the heaviness of the bricks his feet printed oh. and subhanallah in spite of that excellence in execution and performance after he raised the foundation he goes around the kaaba making tawaf and he says what rabbana taqabbal minna He still want Allah to accept this from me. Please accept this from me. In spite of that excellence, in spite of Manzilat al Ihsan, you did. Oh, كانوا قليلا من الليل ما يهجعون أهل الإحسان. The people of the Ihsan, they hardly sleep at night. They bring the hajj all night. وبالأسحاري هم يستغفرون. And at the time of Sahar, at the time of Fajr, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. Hadal. Khawf al Raja' Alternation. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta al Samiu al Alim. Shuf. Rabbana waj'alna muslimayn lak. Ya Allah, make me and my son two Muslims. To you. Muslims. Muslims, ومن دريتنا, from our offspring, أمة مسلمة لك, and we want to learn our deen. We don't want to come up with bid'ah. We don't want to do what our ancestors are are doing. وأرنا مناسكنا, show us the rituals. وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم. شوف النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول أنا دعوة إبراهيم. ونبوءة موسى ونبوءة عيسى أم the supplication of إبراهيم and the prophecy of عيسى عليه السلام ربنا وابعث فيهم رسولا منهم from the offspring of the son إسماعيل send the messenger to teach them the book and the knowledge and the wisdom no and I am the prophecy of عيسى عليه السلام ومبشرا برسول يأتي من بعد اسمه أحمد. When إبراهيم عليه السلام completed the task, Allah سبحانه وتعالى said to him: وأذن في الناس بالحج يأتوك رجالا. Now what I want you to do is to call upon mankind to come and perform Hajj to this house. الأثر في تفسير ابن جرير الطبري الحافظ ابن حجر صححه. He said, يا رب, I'm here in the desert. Who's gonna hear me? I'm I'm gonna make a a a call for حج, proclaim, ask, invite people to come perform. Who's gonna hear me? قال عليك الأذان وعلينا البلاغ. All what you have to do is call. And we'll make sure that people hear this. And شوف يا أخوة when we go to the the لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك. A lot of the the حجاج they say that but they don't pay attention to what they're saying. Oh Allah, I'm responding to you. You 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 the the call of Ibrahim reached me. I'm Ibrahim made that call along. I'm I'm responding to you. All the people every year they go. لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك responding to the call of Allah سبحانه وتعالى in closing and I really mean it this time يعني سبحان الله يخو one of the most fascinating things that even prophets and messengers answer this call الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم كما في صحيح مسلم حديث ابن عباس he passed by a valley قال أي واد هذا what is the name of this valley? قالوا الوادي الأزرق. 
This is the blue valley. وَكَأَنِّي أَنظُرُ إِلَى مُوسَى As if I'm looking at Musa. Musa came and performed Hajj and he passed by this valley. وَكَأَنِّي أَنظُرُ إِلَى مُوسَى لَهُ جُعَارٌ بِالتَّلْبِيَةِ His voice is so loud with the talbiyah. لَبَّيْكَ اللَّهُمَّ لَبَّيْكَ And it's a sunnah to do this. Musa. أَيُّ ثَنِيَّةٌ هَذِهِ What is the name of that place? قَالُوا ثَنِيَّةُ هَرْشَى أَرْ هِرْشَى ضبطين وكأني أنظر إلى يونس بن متى as if I'm looking at Yunus huh. sitting on his camel wearing a reddish a wool piece of cloth and he is saying the talbiyah وفي مسند أحمد the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم says لا يهلن عيسى بن مريم بفج الروحاء حاجا أو معتمرا أو ليثنيهما by Allah عيسى will pass by a valley called ar rawha Isa, when he descends to earth, when he comes back to earth, Isa ibn Maryam, will pass by this valley in his way to perform hajj or umrah or both of them. One of the amazing things to look at the reward of building a house for Allah in earth. Huh? Ibrahim constructed a house for Allah in earth. You know when the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to Al-Isra' Al-Mi'raj, the journey of Al-Mi'raj, Ascension, you know where did they, did they see Ibrahim? Look at the reward. Al-Jaza'u min jins al-amal. The reward is normally from the type of act that you do here. Allah has a house, a Kaaba, for the angels out there. He saw Ibrahim, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the night of the Ascension, he saw Ibrahim sitting down on that Kaaba, placing his back to the walls of that Kaaba. نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يجعلنا من الذين يعمرون مساجد الله أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم Brothers and sisters in Islam You're approaching the best days of the year The first ten days of the month of the Hijjah Of course, if you cannot make it to Hajj This is the best thing that you can do Hajj and Umrah during these days That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed that visit during these days. If you're staying behind, you're never deprived. But just remember that if you want to offer a qurbani, when you see the crescent of the hijjah, you're supposed to refrain from cutting your nails and cutting any of your hair. Hadith Ummu Salama, Fi Sahih Imam Muslim. إذا رأيتم هلال ذي الحجة وأراد أحدكم أن يضحي فليمسك عن شعره وأضافره. Oh. طيب. The ninth day, the day of Arafah, don't forget to fast this day. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, kama fi sahih muslim, hadith Abi Qatada, he said it expiates the sins of the previous year and the coming year. So you're not deprived. Make tawbah during these ten days, fast as many days of these ten days, except the day of Eid. اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وإسرافنا في أمرنا وثبت أقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من الفتن ما ظهر فاسألوا أهل الذكر إن كنتم لا تعلمون